If you're anything like me, you fret about your plants and where you're going to put them before you go away on holidays. So how do you know that they're going to survive? Here's a few tips and tricks on how to keep those plants thriving while you're away on holidays. If you're only going away for just a few short days, then your plants aren't really going to miss you. Sorry about that. But what you do need to do is make sure that you give them a really thorough water before you do go away. Most houseplants will be fine on their own for shorter trips, like long weekends, as long as you give them a really deep soak before you go. Just remember to let them drain fully and make sure they are not sitting in water. If you're going away for a bit longer and you'll miss your plant's usual watering day, here's what you do. Still give your plants a good soak and then once they're drained, gather up all your house plants and group them together in the bathroom. Moving your plants to the bathroom will keep them cool and reduce the amount of water evaporating from the soil. Just make sure there's still plenty of light in there. If your bathroom is a dark dungeon, maybe your laundry or your kitchen is a better spot. Another trick to keeping your plants watered while you're away is to set up a wicking system. Simply insert your water wick into the bottom of your pot and make sure the end of the string is sitting in water. The string now connects your plant's roots to a water source and the water will slowly make its way to your plant, keeping the soil moist while you're away. Pretty nifty, hey? For your larger plants, you can wet an old bath mat or towel and pop them under the pots. This will work in a very similar way. Your plants will slope up the moisture from the mat when they get thirsty. Self-watering pots are great for your medium to large size house plants. We have spoken about these a lot, but they are really good for keeping your plants hydrated for up to that two week mark, providing that it's not too hot. All you need to do before you go is fill up the water well to halfway with water. You want enough water in there so it can drink when it's thirsty, but not so much that the bottom of your pot is touching the water. If you're going away for a bit longer, you are going to need to grab yourself a plant sitter, but don't panic because we'll show them how to do it the easy way. Trust in your Susti. Susti is a fail-proof water checker that tells you exactly when it's time to water. Simply pop your Susti stick into the soil of your house plant to the level indicated. Next, water your plant and wait 10 to 15 minutes for your Susti to absorb at root level. As the device sucks up water, it will change colour from white to blue. Your plant sitter will know when it's time to water again when your susty changes back to white. LHO has a great self-watering system which works similar to susty, telling your plant sitter when to water your plants. This super cute water meter has a little plant inside which grows taller as you water your plant. As your house plant sucks up water from the insert, the plant in the indicator will shrink back down and once it's right at the bottom, it's time to water again.